Hello everybody. So for today I would discuss with you the new changes to Chanel, how you can get a classic flap in 2022. Because so let me tell you, it's not as easy as it used to be. Also Chanel is making a lot of changes and I keep hearing about them. So I wanted to make a summary video about all the changes, how many bags you can get now per year and all of these just monumental changes to Chanel and how they function, the warranty. So if you want to know a bit more, subscribe to this channel. My name is Monica and I talk about luxury and perfume on this channel and let's jump to it. So how to score a Chanel classic flap now in 2020. I just purchased mine at the end of last year and let me tell you it wasn't easy it took me months to track down a bag and it used to be you walk into a store and you can pretty much get the classics just off the bat just by walking in but not anymore guys they are making so many changes so First up, there's a new change that any Chanel customer can get one of each, one of classic Chanel flap and one Coco candle per year. So you've got your quota bags like MS has done. Now Chanel is kind of trying to do the MS thing and they're making loads of changes to reflect that and to just make the bags a bit more exclusive. We all know that there is tons and tons of pre-loved bags, Chanel classic flaps, especially vintage ones on the pre-loved market. And in my opinion, Chanel is trying to make their bags a bit more limited and a bit more exclusive because there's just too many of them everywhere. So one of the things that they're trying to do is that you can't just walk into a store and get five Chanel classic flaps in a year. You can get only one. So you have to one, choose more carefully. There'll be less of them available. And also you'll just have to choose whether you want a um, certain color or another. So it'll maybe be easier to get uh, Chanel classic flaps for customers in the preferred colors because there won't be like those VIP customers buying like tensional classic flaps a year. So I personally like this move. I think it will make the Chanel classic flap a bit more exclusive again because I do find that it's become a bit more like it's everywhere. It's on Instagram everywhere. Uh, loads of people have it. But now with this new move, I think it's quite good for the brand. But me personally, I'm glad I bought one last year so I can get one this year. <laughs> but I think it makes me want to choose like what color I want very, very carefully. So I like that. The second change that they've done actually now that when you walk into Chanel store, you won't see any classic flaps apart from the seasonal ones, but you won't see any of the black, red uh, and clair beige blacks out on display anymore. So they're trying to make them more exclusive, the same that MS does. MS doesn't display the Birkin or Kelly's anywhere in the store pretty much, maybe in Paris, but I haven't seen, like when I've been to MS stores, I haven't seen them displayed. So that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make them more like, oh, will I get a classic flap or will I not? So they're basically trying to make their bags not as readily available. You can't try them on, which is, you know, there's plus and minuses to that, but that is another change they're doing. The next thing that they're doing is that I've got this profile now and they've got a new Chanel profile when you purchase a bag. It's called Chanel and Moi. So when you purchase the bag, uh, you basically put in your details and then make you a profile with Chanel online on your phone. And 
they register the bug to your profile with your name, address and everything. So with the new chips, they can tie this certain bug with your profile and your name, which I think is great because authenticity cards, there's just, you know, they're not proof of authenticity authenticity anymore because I feel like they're being replicated so well and it's hard to actually know whether your bag is authentic especially in the pre-loved market unless you have owned one before or you know Chanel very very well so I love that move to the chips and the bags the chips like you can't even see them like you don't notice them when wearing a bag they're very discreet inside um, the bag so i love that so when you buy the bag you get that online profile which also gives you your five-year warranty on the purchase which is the first time chanel has ever done that and i think it's a great move for them they also started providing now care and repair so like a bag spa for the black classic flap. So the black classic flap is the most famous, I believe, Chanel bag. So that's why they're offering it only for the black Chanel flaps. And this is, I believe, free of charge. And I think it should be really, the service should be also for the red classics and the beige Claire. I don't know why they're only including this but it's good because we are getting three spots at least for one of the head and bags and i think most of us start with the black classic chanel flap so i think that is an excellent service that they're now providing another point is that i've heard this now um that it's harder to get your first classic chanel flap if you've never purchased anything from the store the sales associates are now apparently trained, there's rumors going around, not to oblige to your request and not to sell you a classic Chanel flap. They are doing the MS thing once again. So you'll most likely need to purchase some earrings, maybe some shoes, maybe a scarf, something else to build up your credit history and then they will offer you the bag. So this is the new policy that I've already started seeing. For example, when I tried to get my Chanel Classic Fab from the Mantis store, they kept saying, no, we don't have anything for months. And do I believe that they had nothing for months? I think it's just because I was a new customer that they thought, okay, we need to make her work for it and make her purchase other things. And this is not only my experience, but also I've heard it on purse forums that other people have also experienced this. If you're new to this Chanel game, then it might be worth for you to start your journey as soon as possible. The Chanel journey, it's probably going to be called because they're implementing these tactics. So they're doing the MS thing. You need to buy a lot of things before getting your classic flaps, the same with them, not displaying the classics anywhere in uh, the shops. So bit of a bummer, really. Also, one thing I want to mention with the bag spa is that some people were offered a free bag spa before, but some people I've heard they had to pay for it. So I don't know if it's a new thing, but for sure they have put it down on the website that for black classic Chanel flaps, it's definitely free of charge. So how to score your first classic Chanel flap? Because I know under my video of unboxing my Chanel classic flap, a lot of people were like, oh, we can't get it. It's as hard as you say, it's just ridiculous. I want to, I'm saving up uh, with the constant price increases. There is some urgency to it because we're seeing price increases twice, three times a year now. So if you've saved up for the bag, you want to get it but some people are finding it really, really hard to get their first bag and uh, now. So from my experience, I've tried getting mine at the Manchester store, impossible. Literally, I spoke to a lady on the phone because before going down to London and getting my Chanel Classic Fab, because I was offered one from there, 
I rang Manchester just to make sure because it's closer to me um, and said hey should I take it or do you have any currently in store that I could buy with you and they were like no 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 get that one classics are really really hard to get at the moment so what I did I wrote to Harrods online you can go to their website I'll link it down below for you guys and I wrote to them and their customer helpline saying I would like to purchase a Chanel classic flap could you please put me in contact with a Chanel representative SA and within a few days they wrote to me and they said yes here's this person this is their whatsapp number feel free to contact them and from there I wrote to this person so this is really good because you actually speak to an SA and you're not just phoning the boutique because I have tried to get an SA's number before by emailing the boutique or phoning the boutique um, and they would never give those details out. So the easiest way if you're in England, Harrods request an SA they'll get you a um, whatsapp number for them because they've got a business whatsapp here in the UK and you just say this is what I want thank you <laughs> whatever I think it was within the first two weeks he offered me one bag and then I couldn't go down to get it because usually you have to be prepared to go down within the 24 hours or a couple of hours the same day and a week later he again offered me the bag so it was very quick and <laughs> from what you are saying and I've tried getting it from the Manchester boutique for months before that happened so I would say if you're now you know ready to buy a classic fab that is the quickest way that I found personally to do it and I'm happy to say that I love my bag and at least now I'm in the system and hopefully now it'll be easier for me to get a Chanel bag but if you're just starting out and you're finding it really difficult and you just can't get any boutique to offer you a classic flat bag and it's probably going to get really really hard and much harder in 2022 then I would say this is the easiest way I found so do that if you still can't you might have to purchase some other items like earrings or some little leather goods and see what happens but let me know if you've already experienced or heard something from your essay uh, like that confirming the changes I know that from my personal experience it's getting much harder to get a classic I hope to get a white one maybe a beige Claire let me know which one I should get first because people like I'm just struggling with whether I should go for the white or the beige class let me know which do you prefer uh, I'd love to know your opinions or maybe on them but I would love to get either in the caviar level le leather <laughs> and in the medium style love you guys subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one